one of the reasons that we went down the hyperledger path, um, and, and guys, keep me honest on this, uh, IBM guys, uh, was that when we actually looked at the blockchains that were actually out there, uh, one of the things that we decided in the end was that we wanted to have the framework, the solution framework be modular in the sense that um, uh, one consensus model, one security model is not going to satisfy every requirement that we would have or that we could anticipate businesses in particular having. Obviously, blockchain is a fairly new phenomenon and it's going to be given gain additional traction. I think one of the things that we're, like on the Ethereum side, that we really like about the chain code and what Hyperledger is doing is, is like being able to conceptualize really, really computationally expensive um, work and then kind of incorporate that back into into the blockchain. Of course, the Ethereum smart contracts, they're, they're run native to the blockchain, so really, really expensive compute. When I learned about Bitcoin, I thought I, I was just amazed. It really kind of solved the double spend. And it was kind of this interesting experiment in monetary policy. But essentially, Bitcoin could do one thing well, which was the transfer and storage of value.